Nope, I'm good. There we go. Okay. Now the chat box should be on. So I'm going to give everybody a minute to find me again. Okay. Hello, everybody. Sorry about the technical difficulties. I have never done a live on here before. Um, and I promised you that I was going to answer your questions. And there we go. I can see the chat coming up. Okay. Uh, I promised you I was going to answer your questions live. And I didn't realize that in whatever setting I had set up this video on, um, it wasn't letting the live chat come on. So I had to end it and redo it again. So here we are. Hello, happy Friday. Um, I am going to pull up this video on my phone so I can see your comments a little, um, a little more clearly. Yay, okay. Hi guys. Hi Tommy, hi David, hi Libby. Hi Tiffany, Jessica, Jennifer. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for bearing with my um, technical stuff. So, it's Friday. Uh, I've never done a live here before, so I thought it would be fun to um, hang out for a little bit. I'm gonna make a cocktail. Um, I have some snacks that uh, the folks at Real Good Foods uh, so nicely gave me for this video. And um, I just thought we could hang out and then I'll answer your questions, okay? So I, what I'm gonna make today is a lemon drop which if you're not familiar is usually like a lemon drink with vodka in it. And, um, and if you know me, uh, is to know that I love tequila and uh, I love sipping on tequila and, and those kinds of uh, cocktails because I don't, I don't love really sweet alcoholic drinks. So a lot of times I like um, just tequila with a splash or something or something not very, you know, not too sweet. So. I do a lemon drop, um, a twist on a lemon drop with tequila instead of vodka. And uh, so to do that, you usually need like a good silver tequila that's pretty smooth because it's a little sweeter. And, um, and then we're going to put some lemon in it. And that's really all that's in it. It's pretty simple, but it's, I think it's delicious. And it's really customizable too. So if you like it sweeter or you don't like it sweeter, um, you, can, you can do either one. So I'm going to show you that in a second. I also have some delicious uh, pizza sitting here, if you can't tell. It's, the smell is heavenly. Um, like I mentioned, the folks at Real Good Foods um, are, gave me some amazing food for this video. I'm such huge fans of them. Uh, if you're aware, I am gluten-free, so I, which I have been for a long time because I have celiac disease. And um, I don't eat a lot of grains, really, I can't. So, um, Real Good Foods makes really great food that has, uh, that's gluten-free and is um, uh, low carbs, which is a win-win for me because I'm always trying to watch my figure. <laughs> uh, so, uh, this pizza um, has cauliflower in the crust and um, is really low in carbs and it's delicious. So, I think it's important to snack while you drink alcohol. Um, because when you drink and you don't have food in your stomach, all kinds of things can happen, am I right? So, um, <laughs> I uh, wanted to show you also some other stuff that they have. Uh, chicken lasagna bowl. It's low carb, has no noodles in it, but they uh, put really thin pieces of chicken in it, and it's just delicious. Um, my favorite pizza is probably either a pepperoni like this or a pesto, depending on what mood I'm in. And I love cauliflower pizza because I think it adds, um, it just adds that yummy kind of flavor to the crust on top of it. Uh, so it's not just like a, like a basic uh, bread crust. So I love the extra flavor in the crust. Um, so Real Good Foods has, um, like this chicken lasagna has 32 grams of protein in it and uh, 11 carbs for the whole thing, which is awesome. So um, I love them and they also do breakfast foods um, they have cauliflower, uh, they have grain-free sandwiches, excuse me, with uh, chicken sausage and egg in it. And these are delicious too. I'm going to put a code in my description um, down below if you guys want to try them out on their website. They gave me a code to give you guys uh, KJB15 for 15% off if you want to ever 
try them. I think they're delicious. I've been eating their food for years, and um, they so kindly sent me some food and wanted to sponsor this video, so I said yes because I truly, truly love them. So I wanted to tell you guys about them today. Um, so you can, I think you can find them at like Costco and Walmart and a bunch of other places, but uh, I'll put their, their site below and um, you can check them out and use my coupon code if you want. So I got my snacks um, for our little hangout today and um, I'm actually going to put them away. Mmm, so good. Okay, so um, now we get to the cocktail. Um, arguably the most important part of this video. I'm kidding. Um, so we are going to make uh, a lemon drop. I'm just scrolling and seeing your comments. Hello, everybody. Um, Tim, you're having pizza tonight? Good. You should try some real good sometime. Because um, I don't feel guilty when I eat this pizza uh, because it's lower in carbs and everything. So I feel like I'm still getting, getting good foods um, in my system and not just, not just uh, eating eating pizza. So, um, hi, wow, so many of you on here. Hi, Alex. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you so much for joining. Um, okay, so, let me drop time. Now, what I have done, I kind of brought all the ingredients together here in a small area to make it easier to show you. You need a good silver tequila. This is Costa Tequila, one of my favorites. Um, I also love Cazadores, has a good silver tequila. Uh, Casamigos, um, Corralejos, they all kind of sound, they all start with C's, how funny. Um, so they have good smooth silver tequilas that you can put in a drink like this. Um, okay, so I, what I'd like to do is, you can use a shaker or you can use um, a spoon and kind of stir it up, but I, like I said, I like my drinks a little lower carb, so I use a Stevia sugar blend. Um, and a lot of my cocktails, so I feel like I'm not drinking as much sugar. Um, so I think usually when you use a shaker, it just kind of helps blend the sugar a little bit. So I'm going to put a few ice cubes in here just to get it cold. Now I would say, let's see, let's measure out the tequila first because, you know, that's the most important part. Um, I have my Maryland shot glass here. Shout out to Maryland, my home state. Um, I'm going to start, I'll start with one shot, okay, let's, the night is young, let's start with one shot. Um, and I usually do, I would say, again, it depends on your preference, I'm going to do about a quarter of a lemon to start, um, or maybe like a third. I usually probably end up going up to about half, but I like to taste it as I go and make sure that I haven't over lemoned it. I didn't bring that again. Okay. So, and then you can also throw just a little bit of lemon bitters in there, you know, add a little extra, you know, it sounds fancy, lemon bitters. I don't know what they are, but they're cool. Um, and so then we're going to put this in and shake it up a little bit, but wait, no, no we're not, because I didn't put in the sugar yet. Sweetener. Um, I would say start with about, I guess about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, again, this drink is really customizable, so you can add more sugar if you want it sweeter, not put as much sugar in like I do because I don't like it as sweet and I like it a little lower calorie. Um, so I'm just gonna start with one spoon now. Please uh, pause for shaking. I'm gonna get it all right in there, you know? Get it nice and cold. If I have a favorite cocktail to drink on Halloween, you know, in the fall and uh, probably around that time of year, I would say I like um, a Reposado tequila, which is a little, it's a little bit more aged. It's a little, um, I guess, yeah, it's a little bit more aged. So I like like a Manhattan or, or something similar to that, but with tequila instead of whiskey. Uh, the whiskey version is delicious too, but I like um, Reposado tequila with, um, usually over ice with like some orange or cherry um, and again because I'm a I'm a tequila sipper okay hold on let's taste this oh oh yeah mm -hmm. this video is about to get real fun people okay so that's a good combo for me again I did one shot of tequila 
I did about a third of a lemon. I did a dash of lemon bitters. Again, you can put in as much as you love or don't love, you know. And then I did about, a, I think, a teaspoon and a half of uh, the stevia sugar blend, and I shook it all up. Now, um, okay, so now that it's all cold, I like, you can put this in a martini glass and strain it and not drink it with the ice as a typical martini or lemon drop is done. I like the ice in there because I think it keeps it cold, and um, I just, I don't know, I like drinking it over ice. <laughs> so, um, okay. So what I usually do at the very end is add a little bit of sparkling water. It can be um, whatever, you know, if you want an additional citrus, I had orange, so it can be lemon, it can be lime, like whatever additional flavor. It doesn't have any sweetener in it, so, uh, but it just kind of dilutes a little bit of the alcohol, obviously. Oh, there we go, okay, perfect. Um, so I like to pour a little bit of that in there at the very end. Hold on, it's doing a little. Mm. Okay, that works nicely. This is usually the taste testing part of it, where you first pour out the, the cocktail and decide if you need more lemon, more sweetener. This one's doing pretty good. I might squeeze in just a tiny bit more lemon, you know, because that has no juice left in it. Um, and there you go. And if you want to get real fancy, you can, you know, pre-sugar the rim if you want. Again, I don't totally love it as sweet, so I keep it a little uh, less sweet. But you can do, I don't think salt would taste good with this. I was going to say maybe you could salt the rim, but salting's for margaritas, which is also another delightful tequila drink. Um, so here we have my version of a tequila lemon drop. So cheers, everybody. Happy Friday. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for being here. Oh, man. That's delightful. It really is. So refreshing. I like it because it's light, and it doesn't have a ton of calories, and um, I think it's nice for, like, the, you know, we're, we're starting to warm up. We're starting to get uh, not fully to summer, but this is what I like to eat around, you know, drink around this time of year. Um, I'm seeing your comments. It's funny now I can see it in those spots. Um, the pizza is delicious, Joe and Cinema. Um, this is a real good foods pizza. And you heard me talking about how I like low carb, healthy stuff. So this is a real good pizza with cauliflower and um, it doesn't have, it's gluten free because I can't eat gluten because I'm celiac. So um, it's got almond flour and it's, uh, it's lower in carbs and lower in guilt, frankly, which is, uh, you know, when I'm working like I am uh, right now, I, um, I always, you know, try to be a little bit more mindful about what I eat and stay healthier. So it's uh, yummy stuff like this pizza that makes me feel like I can indulge without, uh, you know, without compromising uh, what I'm eating every week. Um, so, and it is, it's delicious. I was talking about earlier how important I think it is to Always have good snacks on hand um, when you make cocktails, because an empty stomach and a cocktail is not always a good combination, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now we're gonna answer some questions. I hope you guys like that little demo. It's my first time doing anything like this, and it's been very fun. So, I thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions about the cocktail or something feel free to ask too i think i said kind of the uh all the the measurements of everything i put in but it's really so customizable that you can do a little bit of whatever you want and you're not going to like mess it up you know what i mean so okay um i'm going to look at some of the comments on my phone here because it's a little bit easier for me uh to read so feel free to send them in yes okay so drink recipe really quick good idea so i did a shot of silver tequila which is sweeter and a little bit smoother um my favorites are costa de tequila um casadores casamigos corleos they all start with c's didn't completely unintentional um so a, there was a shot of tequila i did about a third of a lemon um i just kind of dashed in some lemon bitters and i think i did about a teaspoon teaspoon and a half of a stevia sugar blend I like because it's a little lower calorie and lower carb. Um, but you can customize whatever you want. If you want more lemon, if you want it sweeter. And then at the very end, after I mix that all up, I threw in, um, 
I would say maybe a quarter cup of some uh, orange, um, non-sweetened sparkling water, but you can use lemon lime or any kind of, you know, any kind of flavor you want. Um, so thank you for asking. Um, Libby, yes, I am working um, on something right now, but I am not allowed to tell you what it is, which I know is so annoying. But um, because of social media and everything these days, when we were filming, um, they don't, we have to wait until they tell us it's okay to post and talk about it on social media. So um, as soon as I can, I will post about it. Um, so I'm super excited. And um, yeah, so that's hopefully that I'll be able to uh, announce it pretty soon. Um, okay. So John, you have questions about um, Halloween Town. So let's talk about Halloween Town. I do keep in contact with the cast. Um, and you also asked about Halloween Town 5. I don't know about any plans for that. If they wanted to, I'd be totally open to do it. I would love to see where Marnie is now. Um, and the cast, I keep in touch with a lot of them. Social media has been awesome over the years because it's been, uh, it's allowed me to keep in touch with uh, a lot of the cast, whereas if we didn't have social media, we probably wouldn't because we all live in different states. But um, I've been close to Judith Hogue over the years, who played Gwen, um, Jake Paul Zimmerman, who played Dylan. Um, I've kept in touch with him and seen him over the years, and uh, Emily Roski and um, Philip Van Dyke. I mean, all of us have um, Daniel Koontz, who you guys uh, probably know by now. Uh, <laughs> we are together, so. I kept, obviously kept in touch with him. We did not um, we did not start dating when we were working. It was until um, a few years ago. So um, we all had so much fun working together that it's been really nice that we've been able to keep in touch because we've we genuinely enjoyed working together in so many movies. Let's see. Okay, um, I okay. It, it, okay, I, let's see, Freak of Four, I think is your username. Um, it was awesome to be in a Stephen King movie. I was in a Stephen King miniseries called Rose Red, and I got to play an autistic telekinetic psychic. I'll say that five times fast. It was so much fun. Uh, the cast was awesome, and I loved playing something so different. It's not every day that a role like that comes along, and I got to meet Stephen King and talk to him, and he was so nice and uh, so funny, and it just was just such an awesome role, and I think it's so cool. So many people still remember that movie and watched it, and uh, I think it's really awesome. So thank you for asking. Um, yes, I did have a great time shooting the movie with Queen Latifah. That was Bringing Down the House. I played Steve Martin's daughter, and just talk about another set with really great people. I was super excited that Betty White was also in it, because I was such a huge fan of hers from Golden Girls. And uh, she plays not the nicest neighbor in the movie, but she is just the sweetest person in real life. But Queen Latifah is awesome. Steve Martin was amazing. Just so many, so many, uh, you know, big names on a set, and everybody was just so kind and, and fun to work with. So that's another one of my favorites. Leah, Disneyland or Disney World? Well, I have to say Disneyland because I've never been to Disney World, unfortunately still on my bucket list. I want to go and see, you know, Universal Studios on that in, in Florida and Disney World, but I love Disneyland. I was a pass holder for a while and I had a group of friends that we would go all the time. Um, so I'm looking forward to those days again here soon. Um, I, I, okay, so I am from Maryland. You're from, let's see, Columbia. I saw a couple people on here today from Maryland. So welcome fellow Marylanders. I was born in Gaithersburg, and I still have a lot of family that lives in Maryland, including my sister. So I try to go back at least once a year to go see my family and say hi, and I just love being there. Um, I love the feel of, of just, it's beautiful there. But um, So at least once a year, it, depending on my work schedule, is when I go back, and I love it. And I'm hoping to go back a little bit later this year. Justin, <clears throat> my favorite Halloween movie. That's a good question. Hmm. I've always loved Hocus Pocus, because how can you not? But I also loved, um, well, uh, Your Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, was like my childhood, like that's how I knew Halloween season was on, was, and then that came on TV. 
So that was always one of my favorites, and I loved, it's not really a Halloween movie, but I loved a Double Double 21 Trouble with the Olsen twins. I just, I loved that movie a lot. Okay, so many great questions, you guys. Okay. Um, let's see. Katie, if I could choose one actor or actress to work with that I have not yet, it would be, there's so many. The first one that comes to mind is Kate Blanchett. I love her. I would watch her in anything. Um, Julianne Moore is another one. Oh, so many. So many. Um, but just, uh, that was, those would be my top two that um, they pop into my head right now. Am I a Harry Potter fan? I am. I've seen all of the movies. I still am trying to read the books. My friend Emily let me borrow. She has the entire collection of books. And I reread the first one because that was about as far as I got when I was a kid. And uh, I started the second one again, and, that, and that's where I stopped. So I have to, um, I have to pick them up again because I want to read. I want to read the books and then like watch the movies again. There's just so much. There's such amazing stories, and I want to, I want to, uh, you know, compare the two. I love doing that with uh, with films and books. I haven't been to Harry Potter World yet at Universal. It's been on my list. So that is, that's another thing, that's another place I want to go as soon as, um, you know, stuff starts opening up again. Cinema, I have an eclectic taste in music. I love, I love a little bit of everything. Um, I love the chicks that, I grew up with the chicks, I love them so much. Um, John Mayer, I, I, I listen to everybody from uh, Moon 5 to Mary J. Blige to, um, James Morrison to, gosh, James Bay. I mean, there's so many great, it's really about the music hitting me in a, in a certain way. Kelly Clarkson has always been my, I mean, I've loved her. The Breakaway album is like one of my favorite all-time albums ever. So, okay, I'm going to scroll up a little bit so I get some of these. Um, my favorite hometown dish. Oh, you got to eat crabs in Maryland. Like there's no other way to, um, to, there's no other food really, in my opinion, to eat when you're in Maryland. Every time I go, my sister gets a fresh bushel of crabs. You get the melted butter, the melted, not melted, but it's already melted, the vinegar, the bowl of vinegar, and the Old Bay seasoning on the crabs, and you, you're good to go. You sit outside on a in big paper wrapped uh, table, and you know, just leave me there for a few hours, and um, you know, I'm good to go. So th I do that pretty much every time um, I visit visit Maryland. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to scroll back. You guys are so sweet to ask so many questions. I don't want to miss some of the other ones. Um, hi, Debbie. Well, thank you. You saw my um, the sketch I have here on my YouTube channel, The Realm Are They Male, that I filmed with Daniel, where we, we we uh, explored where Cal is after the second Halloween Town because he kind of flew off and then we didn't know where he went. So we explored the idea of him being in magic rehab. Uh, and that's on my channel if you haven't seen it. Um, and I'm hoping, I love doing sketches. I love uh, filming them with a lot of my friends. Life has been just busy and different lately so I haven't been able to film the way that I would like to but I'm hoping maybe after I finish this project that I'm filming right now I might be able to um, do some more sketches. So thank you for watching those though. I appreciate it. Let's see. Um, okay. I'm just trying to scroll back a little bit and see Tim, um, the Olsen twins on two of a kind. Thank you for asking about that. Um, I was on a few episodes of that show. They were so nice and so sweet. And I was trying not to fangirl because, um, I loved full house growing up. So as soon as I found out I got the show, I just was like, pinch myself. <laughs> um, but they were, they were really great. Okay, I will answer a few more here. Periwinkle, my favorite movie that I was in, I don't, I can't really answer that to be honest with you. I don't think I could narrow it down to just one. I've been, um, I'm grateful that I've gotten to do a bunch of different kinds of roles with a bunch of really great people, but I don't think I could narrow it down. I know, it's, I'm sorry that that's such a general answer, but it's, it's hard. It's hard. Let's see. Okay. I'm trying to scroll. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. My favorite drink 
Oh, you, it, I'm assuming you guys are talking about uh, cocktails. It's probably this one and um, a good reposado tequila on the rocks or made kind of in the style of like Manhattan. Um, which just reminds me that I had a drink in. It's sitting here. Hold on just a second. trying to scroll through some of these so I want to answer a few more questions and I appreciate you guys all hanging out here today oh what is my favorite holiday and holiday tradition other than Halloween <laughs> Stephanie um, I do love Halloween I just say my favorite holiday is probably Christmas though because I love gathering with my family and um, I some of the traditions I've kept up over the years I always wore Christmas socks on Christmas morning um, I'm real into the full like head to toe Christmas garb. Like you gotta, you know, go big or go home. I want Christmas lights everywhere, decor. I want the Christmas pine candles lit. It's just, it's uh, the Christmas music playing. Like I love it all. I love all the Christmas traditions. I make gluten free uh, Christmas sugar cookies for my family and decorate them. Like I just, in the Christmas music playing and the lights are, I mean, I love it all. I love it all so much. <laughs> and I do love Halloween too. Um, I love the fall and I love, as a kid I always loved Halloween because I got to dress up and uh, dress up in costume and be other people, which is probably no surprise why I'm an actor. <laughs> so those two are probably uh, my favorite. Um, Misty, I don't, I see you, you're asking if I have any movies coming out this year that I can tell you about. I have something coming out um, next month that I'll be able to tell you guys about hopefully soon um, but I'm, I'm not allowed to say it out loud yet which I know is annoying but um, I promise you I will get in big trouble if I say it um, hi Justin you are welcome I hope your uh, your villains murder mystery game goes great <laughs> uh, this was one of the reasons why I couldn't make it tonight but I, I hope you have a great game um, Let's see. I am doing a, um, I see, I don't see your name here, but I'm, you're asking about Fan Expo Dallas in September. Um, I know that I'm working on a few appearances for the summer and fall. Um, one is uh, at Smoky Mountain Fan Fest in Gatlinburg, Tennessee at the end of July. Um, I'm definitely doing that one and there's a few others in the works so it, it seems like the in-person cons and everything are starting to ramp back up which is so exciting because I've missed seeing everybody um, I know it's been a just a weird year um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing everybody um, oh Leah you saw my cameo in Babysitter's Club yeah that was like one of the first things I ever did when I was like five and I was so excited because I've read Probably almost every Babysitter's Club book that exists. They were my favorite when I was young. Azra, I um, I have tried Day of Pizza. That one is delicious as well. Um, I hi Stephen. Hi Mackenzie. Um, okay, I think I've gotten through. Okay, I've gotten through these questions. I'll do a few more and then I don't want to. Um, keep everybody too long, but I'll do a few more questions and then we will ramp it up. Um, I, Leah, I was in an episode of SVU called, I think the episode is called Perfect. I don't remember the season. I want to say maybe five. Um, and that one was a lot of fun. Christopher Maloney and Mariska Harite are awesome people. And uh, just what a, just what a cool show to work on. I, you get to play out these interesting scenarios that are all dramatic, and um, I came, became completely um, sucked into that show after I worked on it. I don't think I had seen many episodes before I did, but then I worked on it, and then those USA reruns, man, they just pull you right in, and then like three hours are gone, and uh, and you've <laughs> you've seen all these episodes, all these awesome episodes. I am an entertainment fan. I am so grateful uh, for the time that I got to work with Debbie Reynolds and be in the Halloween Town movies with her. Um, she is a fantastic human being and an amazing actress. And um, we just, I think we all knew we were doing something special and fun, but we had no idea that they would grow into what they are now. And it's a testament to awesome fans like you. 
So um, I just, it's one of the most special experiences of my life. Um, and, yeah, let's see. Okay. Sorry, I'm like trying to talk and read questions at the same time, which is probably not a good idea. Um, okay. When do I feel most happy, L? That's a great question. Probably when I'm with my family or acting, really. Creating. Any kind of creating is, is awesome. I love creating for my Etsy shop. I love acting. Um, I love connecting with people like you guys and meeting you guys and talking and everything and making people happy. That just, that's when I'm really at my happy, my most happiest. Um, when, you know, I'm hanging out with my nephews and they laugh with me and those little simple moments are just, um, are my favorites. My favorite fast food place that I like to eat at? Oh boy, Shake Shack? I don't know if they're, uh, state, uh, Countrywide, but Shake Shack has awesome burgers. In and Out also has awesome burgers. Chipotle, I mean, the list goes on. Okay, so I'm gonna answer one or two and then it's gonna be time for me to go. Um, any advice for an aspiring actor? That's a great question, Lewis. Um, I would say training. So many people um, think that, let's see, what am I trying to say? I think people should take classes before they um, take as many classes as they can because it gives you a real sense of the work that goes into creating characters and as long as you connect with like I really enjoy that work and some people get into the business for other reasons and you know they want to be on TV or be popular or something and there's so much more to being an actor that comes with it so I think training is always really important because you kind of learn how your body works and how you work in trying to create characters and you really get to like learn how to do that and that's the most exciting part for me because that's what keeps you going when there's moments of rejection or criticism or whatever that comes so often in the business so I would say take classes and then and then perform do student films do uh, you know uh, local plays like anything that you can to get that experience. It's so important to get out there and try it and, and to get that experience. I I don't know if Quince has ever been released on DVD, unfortunately. It's on Disney Plus now, so I would think maybe not, but um, I don't know. I don't know, unfortunately. Um, well, thank you guys so much for, um, no, I am not working on a Marvel movie, Lewis. <laughs> No, unfortunately, um, that would be a great job to have, but no, I'm not. I'm slowly getting through the Marvel movies, actually. Um, I had not seen a lot of them, and then I watched WandaVision on Disney+, Plus and absolutely loved it, and had only seen a few Marvel movies, so that kind of convinced me to go back. Daniel had seen every Marvel movie that's ever come out, and so that kind of convinced me to go back and start at the beginning. So then I went back and like started with Iron Man, and now... Daniel's rewatching them with me, and I'm slowly working my way uh, through the whole through the whole storyline. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I hope you have a beautiful weekend, and uh, I so appreciate you coming and hanging out with me and asking questions. I hope you enjoyed the cocktail. Um, hit me up on social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter under official KJB. I'm on TikTok under uh, official Kimberly J Brown. Hit me up, let me know if you ever make the cocktail, and if you like it, I hope you do as much as I do. Um, head out and get some uh, real good foods, because I truly, genuinely love this company, and I thank them for uh, sponsoring this today and for sending me some yummy foods. Um, I'm gonna put a coupon code below so you can go to their website if you wanna try it. Um, and it's just, it's delicious and low carb and healthy, so what more could you ask for? Anyway. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for um, joining me on my first live. I will do another one of these again really soon. Maybe we'll make another different cocktail. Who knows? And we'll chat. So um, I so appreciate it. And I hope you guys have uh, an awesome rest of your day and uh, your weekend. So take care.